All right, today we are looking at the book of Numbers. So we're up to Numbers now, and we are going to learn about a character in Numbers called. Who, who knows how to pronounce this? Anyone but Simon? Who wants to have a go? Zephy. Do you know how to pronounce this? Have a go. Just give it a shot, it's okay. No? All right, Simon, tell us how you pronounce Balam, no. Balaam, that's it. So Balaam. Balaam, okay. So today we're learning about Balaam, a character called Balaam, and he's in Numbers. So this is the time when the Israelites are still wandering through the wilderness and they're defeating some kings and going through that time when they're wandering in the wilderness. So let's talk about Balaam. So the Israelites, they're wandering through the wilderness, they're starting to defeat some of the kings, and one of the kings, king of Moab, gets a little scared, Balak. He gets a little scared because he knows the children of Israel are coming and God is helping them to defeat the armies. So the king of Balak sends to Balaam because he knows Balaam is a prophet and he wants Balaam to come and help him and to say to curse these people that have come out of Egypt because they're defeating all these people. So he's asking for help. So he sends his princes to come and say to Balaam, you know, Balaam, there is this people that I want you to curse for me. And if you do, I'll give you great riches and honor. Oh, that makes Balaam excited, isn't it? Danny, sit quietly. Don't swing your legs like that. That makes Balaam happy, doesn't it? Look at this. Look at him smiling there. Yeah? So in his dream, when he, when he goes to bed, he waits for God to tell him what to do. He says, well, I'm going to ask God and see what God tells me to do. And then God comes and tells him, look at what God tells him here in Numbers 22, 20. It says, And God came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, that shalt thou do. So God tells him, first of all, hey, these people that are coming out of Egypt, don't curse them because they're blessed. So then they try and come to Balaam again, offer him more riches, say, hey, inquire of the Lord again. And this is when God says to him, hey, well, if the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. Now, what did Balaam do? Did Balaam wait for them to rise up and call him to go with them? No. He took that as God wanted him to go with them. So he got up and he left with them, even though God said, hey, wait for them to come and call you to go with them. Because the, what he wanted in his heart was the riches that they were trying to give him. So he gets on his donkey to go and follow the men back to go see King Balak, which is the king of Moab. Now, as he's going on the way, I don't know if you know this story, he's on his donkey, and the Bible calls it an ass, A-double-S, -S, an ass. In the way, he's stopped by an angel. But Balaam can't see the angel. Only the donkey sees the angel, so the donkey stops and goes out of the way. And Balaam gets angry at his donkey. He says, you know, smacks the donkey to try and get him back on the way. But because the donkey can see the angel in the path, the donkey doesn't want to keep going. And what happens? Because the donkey doesn't want to go past the angel, there's a wall on either side of Balaam. The donkey rams Balaam's leg into the wall. Ah! Hurts his leg. And Balaam's getting very angry at his donkey now. Hits the donkey the second time, right? Because the donkey's running his leg into the wall. Until eventually, the donkey just gives up and sits down. And then Balaam what? Hits the donkey the third time. 
And I was saying, how come you're not going forward? And you know what God did? This is the famous story about Balaam and his ass, is God actually opened the mouth of the donkey and the donkey spoke to Balaam. Do you know what the donkey said? I'll show you in Numbers 22, 28. And the Lord opened the mouth of the ass. Right? So this is a miracle that's happening because donkeys don't normally talk, do they? They don't normally talk. Wouldn't it be interesting if animals talked? I wonder what things they would say. Well, in the Bible, we get an example of one where the animal is thinking something. And the Lord opened the mouth of the ass and she said unto Balaam, what have I done unto thee that thou hast smitten me these three times? So what is the donkey saying? What have I done wrong that you're hitting me three times? Why? Because the donkey could see the angel, but Balaam couldn't. And Balaam was so angry, he said to his donkey, Oh, you're lucky that I don't have a sword, because if I had a sword, I would have killed you. So now. And then what happened? Then God opened the eyes of Balaam. And Balaam saw the angel. And then God said to him, you're lucky that that donkey stopped you from going because if the donkey had let you go, I would have killed you and left the donkey alive. So the donkey actually saved Balaam. Right? So God still says to Balaam now, all right, go with the people. So now that he's learned that lesson, he goes to go speak to Balak. So Balak brings Balaam to see the people of Israel and tells him, I want you to curse these people for me. And Balaam says, only what the God tells me to do is what I'm going to tell you. Now instead of cursing the people of God, what did Balaam do? Do you know? He blessed them, that's right. So he blessed them and said, they're going to be like a lion, a brave lion, a young lion, and saying all these nice things about them rather than all these mean things about them. And how do you think that made Balak feel? He wasn't very happy, was he? He was angry. And you know how many times this happened? One, two, three. Three times. Three times. And he took them up. He took Balaam up to go see the, the people of Israel. He said, curse them for me. And what did Balaam do? He blessed them instead. So that made him very angry. Look at what it says here. It's the last verse. Numbers 24.10. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam. What does that mean? He got really angry. Like your anger is like a fire. Kindled. And he smote his hands together. And Balak said unto Balaam, I call thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Okay? So that's the story of Balaam. So what was Balaam's error? Because in the New Testament we read, they ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward. So what was Balaam's error in this story? As he was making decisions, what do you think? Um, Not too sure? What do you think, Timothy? What was his, what was his error? There's, an, there's a hint. What do you think, Simon? Rich is just like Tobias. Yeah. <laughs> See? So he was doing things because of money and not for the right reasons and it made him to and it made him make a wrong choice when he was offered money he did what he wanted to get the money rather than what god wanted and sometimes you'll have that choice in life as well somebody might offer you something something of value to do something wrong and should you do it just because you want that thing no no you got to do what's right so we need to learn from balaam don't we we don't want to follow the wrong thing just because of riches. Right? We want to do the right thing. You see here? Here he is. Greedy Balaam. Following things because of money. Okay? And we don't want to be like Balaam. 
All right, so I want you, hope you learned a little bit about Balaam today. This is the craft today. What do you got here? This is Balaam's ass, his donkey walking. And what happened when he struck the donkey three times? Do you remember? Put your hand up. Um, sad? Sad, no? She, oh she, it's a she. She opened her mouth. Look at this. Why hast thou smitten me these three times? Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's a cloth bag on the back. Okay, so we're going to make one of these today. You guys excited about this? Yeah. Right. Let's go. Let's go to the back. 